Hello. Yes. Okay. This is Sideways 8 again. I have a Twitter feed, like many people, with other fellow anti-SJWs, and they all, well, not all of them, but some of them have noticed that the most fanatical feminists are often women with who have troubled pasts. Well, this is nothing new. My mother had a troubled past, too. She had a, a little rough upbringing with her father. That's just saying a nice way that he was an alcoholic that was abusive. And that set her up. That messed her up. And as a child, I seen her do the same antics you see a hardcore feminist, but as a Christian. Nothing was ever her fault. Everyone else was the devil. She was Jesus' God sent. And she was a torment. So she's a nice person now. She's worked through her problems. But she was a tormented soul. It has been my observation throughout life that anyone who takes anything to any extreme and is trying to control you is a person that's no longer able to control themselves and that have been miserable. What we are witnessing is people who were made miserable, who were made sick, may it be through the indoctrination of their ideals. And indoctrination does require negative emotion and negative subjectivity because the more angst anxiety they put on you the more likely you're going to have a conversion experience this is brainwashing 101 but not only that it gives people who are tormented souls a structure a sense of belonging and a sense of control but not only that it's a false sense of control. What it does is they are, it exaggerates or it excuses their mental illness. It does not help them deal with their mental illness. It does not deal with their emotional scars. It does not help them deal with their psychological issues. When you have someone that is a screaming banshee, maybe the FM Nazi or a jihadi, you have dealing with someone for some way, somehow, has been wounded. May it be traumatic uh, experiences in war, traumatic experiences as a child, may it because they're bullied, or daddy decided to beat them across the head because he wasn't, it wasn't, uh, wasn't given what daddy, the honey, wanted. Sick stuff. Or just because their ideology was designed to make them emotionally unstable. Doesn't matter. What you're seeing is people who are dealing with their psychological demons. And what they're doing by putting you in their straitjacket of an ideology is to try to spread that sickness. When... This mental sickness may be in this malaise, it becomes present in most of the uh, population is when society becomes hellish. What happens within determines what happens without. I know this personally. I have inherited my mother's baggage and as long as I didn't, until I realized I was this baggage and dealt with it, I was dealing with poverty. I was dealing with nothing but trouble. It wasn't until I got fixed these issues, life became better. I became nicer to those around me and it became paid forward. These people lack self-awareness and they do not look inward. They are tormented by psychological demons and it is coming in a form 
expressing itself in the form of an ideology, and they're trying to spread that sickness to everyone else. So, when next time you deal with someone who is a fanatic, you have a couple reasons, things. You can walk away, if you can, and try to disgage. Or, you can try to heal the uh, inner wounded child. You try to stay away from the uh, politics, and you start giving them the love and affection that daddy or mommy never had. You may be laughing, but I have seen evil before. I've had seen some rather uh, horrible stuff. And the quickest way to uh, shut down a demon of any sort especially psychological demon is to try to be loving and compassion. I wouldn't waste your time on these people, but if you have to, you have to ask them, is this really the issue? What is really bothering you? By realizing it's not about the ideology, it's not about the, the, the issues, it's not about the policies. We are emotional creatures. All of that underneath the, underneath the surface is nothing more than a bundle of emotions associated and structured to give expression. It's just an expression of a psychological need. If you meet this need, you'll neutralize it and you can go on your way.